Hello guys, today I'm going to show you guys how to draw an anime couple kissing. So, let's get started. First off, I'm going to draw a vertical line, and that's going to be the center line of the couple, like the line between them. And then I'm going to start drawing the girl, which is going to be on the left side. So, this the head side is going to be around like that. And she's just gonna be facing directly to right, and then he's gonna be kissing her from the left. And okay, so I'm just gonna ignore the guy for now. And uh, so what I'm pl what I've planned now is that he's not gonna kiss her mouth to mouth, but on her forehead, so like this. And then she's gonna be kind of like surprised. So when she surprised her. Shoulders are gonna be raised a little bit like this, and then her back is gonna be you know, like kind of like curled a little bit, kind of like shy away a little bit. Um, just trying to give her the shape of the of the side view I have done a video on this already if you guys have seen that it shouldn't be that much of a problem for you so around like that and then I'm just gonna finish the these just guidelines for the face which is gonna be around like this so when you're when enjoying this part the um, just make sure that the nose is very very gets very very flat I mean the line gets very flat like this exaggeratingly flat like this at least my style is gonna be like that you see this a lot in anime and I'm just gonna draw the ear which is gonna be around like this okay and then her shoulder is gonna be um I mean her arm is gonna be placed on her breast like that um so the hand of the other arm is going to be kind of like covering this hand so you can see it like around here Oh, that was terribly drawn, man. Okay, so so when you're drawing the hand, just make sure that, just make sure that uh, the size is correct. That's probably the most important thing when you're drawing the hand, because you know it's very easy to just forget about the rest of the drawing and start drawing a size that is not, you know, kind of like out of place. You know, that's a, this is. All right, so I'm just gonna start drawing the guy, which is gonna be kissing her um, forehead like this. So her forehead is gonna be like there. So that's gonna be where the mouth is. I always hate to draw, you know, things that are uh, restrained by uh, another thing. For example, here I have to draw. The position to be exactly here which is going to be a little bit hard than if you're just completely free about where you draw the face whatever I digress okay so when you're drawing the head just make sure that they have the same size so I think this is pretty okay and then he is kind of gonna be kissing a little bit downwards or that's maybe a little bit too much. I don't know. Actually, I think that's a little bit too much. I don't. I don't like that the height is too too different. So I'm just gonna rotate his head. Can't really rotate his head. 
on a paper. So I'm just gonna erase the whole face and then draw this part again. Okay, so the mouth is gonna be touching here and then there you go. But all right, so, okay, so the, the main difference here between the faces is that this face, you can see the shape of the mouth a little bit better. The mouth is also gonna be larger and the nose is also gonna be larger. So that's the main difference. And then his eyes, I'm, I'm gonna draw his eyes, I don't know, I don't know what, just like this. Looking straight forward, nothing special. Um, the ear is also going to be nothing special, maybe a little bit larger than the ear, because you know, in anime you just try to get the face of the girl to be as cute as possible. That's kind of like the main rule in drawing, in drawing anime girls. So his arm is gonna be um on her shoulder, not on her shoulder, but her his hand is gonna be on her shoulder. Um, I I actually get that I drew this part because it's gonna be covered by the arm. But um, yeah, so he's gonna be kind of like placing his hand here. Pulling her closer to him, probably. And then... Okay, I'm just gonna finish the... the The, the torso and the body and then the other arm is gonna be um is actually gonna be on the face but it's gonna be covered so you, you can only see this part of the arm That's it, I guess. I think the face is a little bit too, 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 too straight, too horizontal. So I'm just gonna move it. So he's looking downwards a little bit, not that much, just a very tiny bit. And also, I'm gonna move his pupil a little bit downwards so that he's kind of looking downwards at at the girl. I'm also gonna enlarge. The eyes is pretty good, and then she's gonna be looking surprised, so just wide open the eyes. Some eyelashes, and then her eyebrows is also gonna be very far away from from the from the rest of the eyes. Just a nostril, a nostril for her, I don't know. The mouth is gonna be very small, open, because she is surprised. That's very good. Okay, so now I'm just gonna start. You know, these these are all just guidelines yet, but I'm I'm kind of like mixing guidelines and and the final product right now because I'm drawing the lines very very hard. But you know, I'm just doing it a little bit too quick, maybe I don't know. But um, yeah, I'm gonna start drawing the hair. So as usual, it's gonna be like this. I'm actually gonna give her. Uh, like a, just not really kissing a forehead. This is something that 
I probably forgot about, but I can't change it right now. Uh, I'm. I don't know what kind of hairstyle I'm gonna give her. I think I'm just gonna go for something very normal. So, or something something that I normally don't draw is that it's just some kind of new things. I'm just trying to add some. Okay, so. What I'm planning right now is that her hairstyle is going to be blowing backwards. But that one's what that one was a little bit too much. And then like this so you can see her hair so normally if you have the very normal long hair it's probably gonna cover the ears but in this case her hair is gonna be you know, drag towards the back of her head if you understand what I mean So I'm just kind of adding some random lines to indicate that, you know, flow of hair. And also, if you, uh, as you can see, I'm trying to add, you know, different layers of hair. So hair. So for example, you can see this strand going, you know, into the hair, and then there's another layer of hair from from back. You know, I'm just trying to give the hair a little bit more depth. So it's just one way to, you know, kind of add more uh, variations to your um, hair, so it does not look like just a lot of spikes. Um, this was terribly drawn. But that's okay, I think this is pretty okay. So I'm just gonna go ahead and draw the hair of this guy, which I also is gonna be i um, giving some variations because I think normally I draw some very boring hairstyles so in this case I'm gonna give him a little bit longer hair also very flowy hair so I'm, I'm gonna see if I can do it so basically I'm just trying to give her uh, his hair that's gonna have a uh, varied directions of hair if you can if you can see that it's either flowing this way or flowing you know this way and i'm trying to give it a little bit more variations because normally you just have them all flow the same direction but in this case i'm trying to give him you know kind of like the you know very what's it called a very carefree hairstyle i don't know just kind of like a hairstyle that that looks like he's kind of like uh, I don't know very that uh, that just looks very random I don't even know what I'm trying to say but you, you get the hairstyle but you know kind of it does not really look that much like what I've described <laughs> if I just have these kind of looks quite
quite okay. And uh, I'm gonna go ahead and start drawing the, the what is it called, the clothing. I don't even know how, what it's called. But um, yeah, what should I do about the clothing? I think I'm just gonna give him a very normal shirt. So here you can see the shirt. Um, I actually is not gonna give him shirt because I feel like I've drawn that too much, you know. I'm just gonna keep the trend and start doing something that is, is a little bit um unusual for my channel. So I'm just gonna give him a very thick jacket. So I'm just gonna pretend that it's very cold. It's probably winter or something. And he's got a very thick jacket and then she is also gonna have a very thick jacket of course because it's winter so it's it's only normal that I have the same type of clothing so her jacket is gonna be a little bit uh, at a little bit high waist not that much but a little bit No, 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 of course she is not gonna go for jeans again because if she's gonna high waist, of course she's gonna get uh, high waist, so I mean high waist jeans, so I don't want her to have that. I'm going to do something different in this video, I've told myself. So the, the jacket that she's gonna wear is gonna be, it's gonna be going down to around her legs just like that that's also pretty normal but it's something that i almost never have drawn so that so so you know the thing about uh, and that you should think about when you are drawing clothing is that you is that you you think about how thick it is and also how hard the fabric is so for jackets, it's it could vary a little bit, but you know, most likely it is very thick because it has to be thermo, what's called thermo isolated. So, so it needs to be a little bit thick, and also most likely it's a little bit harder than normal clothing. And obviously, it's also because it's thick, and when it's thicker, it's also harder. Obviously. Um, so what happens when it becomes thicker is that the bumps are larger, so I hope you guys can see that the bumps are actually larger here. So as you can see I have larger bumps, also less, you know, creases, because you know the, when the bumps are larger, the creases, of course, there will be less creases. I hope you guys understand that. This is the pocket and for the pocket for her too. It's of course way too low. So since she is shorter than him, her pocket is gonna be a little bit lower than his. That's because you know basically everything is gonna be lowered a little bit compared to him. So his pelvis is also gonna be a little bit higher than hers so make sure you keep that in mind so that you don't suddenly draw the pocket a little bit too high a little bit too low around here is pretty okay
So now I'm basically just cleaning up some lines that I've drawn that really shouldn't be there. And also adding some details that I've forgotten. You know, this part, you know, about drawing the ear is something I almost never talk about. But, you know, I think you should just follow me. You know, there is just one pattern. And of course, it's, it also, I mean, every ear is a little bit different. But the pattern is basically the same for most people. So just follow this pattern and you'll be pretty good. And I'm just gonna, you know, redraw a line. So, so normally, you know, when you when you're done draw with drawing, you know, the sketch, you will want to redraw all the lines. There's a little bit thicker. You know, I've I've told you this in every single video that I make. But um, yeah, but I normally don't do that actually. I I think that takes so much time, and my time is. Uh, very I don't have that much time to do that so normally I just mix you know the, the the two processes so I do both the sketching and you know the inking at the same time if I just feel like a part is done correctly then I would just go ahead and draw as hard as I can on a paper as long as it doesn't break and also yeah if you guys haven't seen already, I updated my pencil to, or I didn't update, I reverted it back to mechanic pencil. I really like to use mechanic pencil, but I you know, was kind of like trying to use up all my other lead pencils, but I just wanted to use it. A mechanic pencil, so I just switched back to it. It's not, not really a big deal though. But you know, here, here you can see that I have a lot of a lot of guidelines that really shouldn't be there but I didn't erase it but that's also okay because um I mean I could have erased all them all but it just takes too much time and now it's been 22 minutes so I, I don't really want to waste the time watching me erasing those stuff so I'm just gonna go ahead and skip that part and uh just do this inking part that i've been talking about uh as fa as fast as i can but you know if you if you don't do this inking part if you if you don't uh because you know from time to time you really have to um, to erase all the guidelines and also do this inking part properly here you can see that I'm not doing it actually quite properly. I could should be more careful, you know. See, I just combined a lot of lines, which shouldn't be done when you're doing the inking part. But you know, from time to time, you really want to do this part uh, properly. The reason for that is because there simply are something that you can't see when you're not uh, when you're not clear about your lines. So if if you if you ever felt that your drawing looks better when it's when it's um when it's uh sketchy and uh, that's probably because you're not doing the inking part properly or you're not uh, you're inexperienced with it and the reason for that is because when when it's sketchy a lot of lines are being you know kind of like blurred and you can you will ignore a lot of details and therefore a lot of bad things or mistakes that you made will not be shown or not be visible and and you don't want to just hide them because you know if you want to be like a productive artist you you really want to have um all the skills that you need in order to be proficient and you can't really avoid uh drawing those very intricate uh details so from then on you really need to do you know line art properly and stuff but you know for now i'm just gonna i mean i've done that a lot of times so i probably don't need that that much 
I'm just trying to be as quick as possible right now. And also, you know, normally when I do the ink part, I don't use a mechanic pencil. The reason is because my mechanic, I only have less lead sticks that are HB. And if you're drawing, um, if you if you want to do the inking part, normally you want to have at least two B and probably more. I I know a lot of people who use two B for normal drawing lines, and then they use around like four B to 8B for the inking part, which will probably produce a more um, strong alliance. If you don't know what I'm talking about, 4B and 2B is basically you know, the label for the hardness and softness for, uh, for the pencil. So I'm using an HB, which is the most normal pencil that you can find. Uh, that's, uh, that's also gonna be um, the, the pencil that people use to take notes um, when writing. Yeah, there's so many lines that I could have erased, but it's taking too much time. This looks really sketchy, sketchy right now, but it's probably okay as long as you learn, you know, the principles behind it. Also, don't know how this looks like. Really, it looks like a really, <laughs> really strange. Fashion. Okay, so finally we're done with the line art. So I'm just gonna go ahead and shade, you know, the all the clothing and hair. So I'm just gonna start doing it. Okay, so normally I actually don't use a mechanical pencil for this, but you know I I don't have that pencil available right now. So I'm just going to go ahead and do these diagonal lines, which you've probably seen if you have seen any uh, the line art drawing. But um, normally I use the, use the pencil and then place it diagonally to draw, you know, the gradient that you've probably seen if you have seen other videos. But, you know, it's just two different styles to do, you know, the shading part. And you can just pick one that you really like and i think it saves you some lead if you do this do in this style so it's probably good because lead sticks are quite expensive but um uh yeah so i've, I've uh, so the the way i do the shading and the shadowing is that i first of put a shade on what i want to shadow and then i just pick out where it there needs to be some darker shade for the shadow i just add them and then of course I pick another direction so that it doesn't get um, it doesn't get very you know what's called mixed up those those diagonal lines. Mm, I'm just gonna add one here, and of course you know there are many again many different ways to do the shading or shadowing for for um, for the hair especially the hair there are many ways to you know how you shade it and yeah, how how you add highlight for it i'm just going to go for a simple way because you no know, it, it looks a little bit sketchy right now so it's kind of it will kind of match the style if i just do it like this that is a little bit sketchy um i'm also going to make it darker around the center here because they are kind of like blocking the light for each other and this part was terribly drawn okay so 
step part was done, the hair, and I'm gonna go ahead and shade the whole jacket. I'm gonna assume it's gonna be in gray. I, at least I want it to be in gray. If I had, if I had coloring pencils, that we're just gonna be around as dark as the hair. And for this jacket, it's actually gonna be brown, but again, it's black and white. So I think I'm just gonna add, you know, okay. And also, if you guys didn't already, how how dark the shade is is gonna be determined by how 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 tight the lines are. Also, if you want to be an extra extra uh, dark, you can just add another direction. It's just up to you. But um, you can see that this part is a little bit lighter than this jacket because you know the lines are a little bit more evenly distributed or you know less tightly placed together. Okay, so I'm just gonna pick the other direction and start doing the shadowing. And once again, now I've, as I've said, this I'm gonna add shadow along the center because they are covering the lines for each other. And I'm just gonna add very dark shadow here. Very dark. It should be very dark, you know. That part is always very dark, so just make sure you add a lot of shade there. And then, of course, I can't forget that this part is also a part of the jacket and I made some mistakes this line doesn't look as distributed as this one but I can't regret it I'm just gonna add some shadow to it to just kind of make sure that people don't see my mistake so there you go and I'm, I'm actually gonna leave the hand white or you know the all the skin white normally I mean, obviously it has some shade, it is not white, but normally people leave it white anyway because there's no use in shading it because everybody's so used to seeing the skin color that everybody knows how it looks like and is and it's also quite very bright so even if it had a shade it will be very light so there's just no need for us to and that's shade right now and then finally I'm just gonna add some shade below the nose for both character and um, and uh, and what of course I'm just I'm just gonna add some more shadow so shadow on this part So it's not just the center of the of the two characters that has shadow, it's also every cylindrical shape it needs to have shadow because I'm thinking that the light is just coming from the surroundings. So so for example the, the light is coming here, so this part is gonna have shadow. You get what I mean. Okay, so last part of course I almost forgot is that it needs to be shadow just in front of the whole face because it's also being like, being covered by him and the same thing gonna be is gonna apply for him and I need to add this part to be extra extra dark so that people can see that it's dark and then the light is gonna be blocked here again there and no, this is gonna be light, but this part is gonna be blocked. So that's pretty good. And of course, I can't forget to add some blushies. She's being kissed after all. And the same goes for him. 
he's gonna have blushies. You know, some people don't like to add blushies to be to guys, but I normally don't do that too. But it's just normal that they have some blushies when they are kissing. Okay, and uh, lastly, I just want to give her his hair a little bit more depth by adding some really small sh uh, patches of shadows here and here. And I think that we're done. Actually, we're done. Finally. And I think I went off the bounds a little bit. Damn it. I'm sorry that I moved it a little bit upwards. Hope you guys could see most of the thing that I've done. You know, I'm I'm terribly sorry that I moved it a little bit up, but I can't really go on that right now. So yeah. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching and yeah, hope you guys liked it and hope you guys learned something new and I'm gonna be uploading a new video pretty soon so stay tuned for that and don't forget to subscribe, don't forget to leave a like, leave a like, yeah, leave a like and leave a comment and if you have any questions or requests I'm just gonna do that and see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.